Hey, Dr. Stone here from Vegas Pro Insiders Daily. Today is June the 14th. It's Flag Day. Who doesn't know it's Flag Day? <laughs> Anyways, hey, I was supposed to be here yesterday. I apologize. I was not able to make it. Uh, ended up having to do a college baseball World Series article. And so that will be up on the website uh, by the time uh, you see this video. So you can check that out. Uh, got the breakdown of uh, basically all the teams. Got all the odds uh, for, to win the tournament. And a number of other odds to go along with it. Plus my pick to win it all. And or and maybe even a little bit lower team down the down the scale as to who's going to win it. So always exciting. And speaking of exciting, hey, the well, not for a lot of people, but Canadian Football League, the CFL starts tonight. Okay, can you name last year's Great Cup champion? I'll tell you here. I I think I'll tell you here in a minute. Anyways, hey, we, so so we got that starting up, and the popularity of that has increased because ESPN. Uh, essentially ESPN2 and uh, there'll be ESPNU and now ESPN Plus will be covering more of these games and so with that because they understand which they always understood is that gamblers watch it so that's why the interest level has grown up I can't tell you how many friends in the past mm, two years okay the people that I know that not so they not big betters or anything like that just more casual fans they started watching some of these games and they got action on it it's not heavy but they're betting them and so hey and so with that Vegas Pro Insider Daily can help you out on that uh, the with any number of different ways um, myself uh, I have selections I have information weekly that uh, relates directly to the CFL. Well, of course, I'm still going to cover baseball. We're still going to cover all these other major sports that are that are going on right now. But we're going to have that, and you can get jump in. Okay, a CFL action. I got packages starting as low at, that you can try out seven dollars for seven days. How can you do a buck a day? I mean, <laughs> doesn't get any better than that, right? So they got uh, CFL action today, today, Friday, and two games on Saturday. So you can jump on that if you're interested. Plus, we'll have any number of other different things in terms of baseball picks and all kinds of stuff. So check it out, VegasProInsiderDaily.com. Jump on board. Let's get to some free picks. I got six for you today, um, starting with, in baseball, San Diego, Atlanta. Get just going. This is, uh, the Atlanta just won a two-game series against the Mets. So they have jumped back into first place in the National League East, and they're going to be facing San Diego. Now, Atlanta uh, being at home, 18 and 12 at home, they're, going to, they're moving up a little bit uh, from 135 to at least minus 146 uh, against the Padres. However, don't you be the one to sell San Diego short. No, 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 no. The Padres have won five straight series. They've won 11 out of 15. Their bullpen uh, save percentage, I believe, is it's the top of the National League, and I believe it's the top in baseball. So this team is definitely surpassing expectations this upcoming season. Anibal Sanchez is going for the Braves. Anibal Sanchez, this guy was washed up a couple years ago. He's gotten off to a good start with Atlanta. I'm not going to deny that. Uh, 2.37 ERA. But Tyson Ross is another guy that seemed washed up uh, with Texas last year. He's come back around in his second tour of duty with San Diego. And in his 13 starts with San Diego, they've won 10 of them. The team has. Yeah, so why not take a shot with San Diego is what I'm saying on that one. Let's move ahead. Uh, big series, at least I think it's a big series, Boston, Seattle, uh, at Seattle, in Coffee Town. Now, this is going to be a four-game series of the a of a couple of AL division leaders, so that's all good news. Now, the pitching matchup, uh, it's, it, it sounds really good, and it would have been like really good five years ago today. Eh, not so much, but we got David Price against... King, or the former King Felix Hernandez, uh, both guys are on the downsides of their career. They're not horrible yet. They're not washed up, but they're certainly not, they're not what they were. Let's put it that way. So in this one, Boston started out as a minus 135 point favorite, and they have slid down to minus 125. This one, you know what? I got the Red Sox. Boston's more, uh, Boston, and in this case, price is more consistent. Boston has the better bullpen. And they're 39 and 15 against uh, right handed starters and 12 and 2 on the road if they gave up two or less runs in their last game. Seattle, 
uh, go against Seattle, take Boston in this one. Now, mention some CFL. We got a game tonight. We got some action tonight. Edmonton against Winnipeg on this one. So that uh, that's going to get things kicked off. That's going to be on ESPN2 at 8.30 Eastern. Now, Edmonton has climbed from minus 6 to minus 7.5, and the total has fallen big time from uh, 53 down to 49.5. Why, you say? Here's why. Is that... Uh, Winnipeg, the Blue Bombers, are going to be starting a true rookie quarterback. Chris Stevular. I think I got that right. At least Chris, I know his first name is Chris. But he, he's, he's going to be their starter uh, tonight because their uh, regular starter, Matt Nichols, last week in their last pieces of game, blew out his knee. Not blew it up, but he, he injured his knee. He's going to be out for at least a month. So... Uh, Chris is going to be taking is going to be taking over this team. Uh, he played at I think San Diego State last year, as, as I recall. So first rookie to start a to start the season in the CFL, a true rookie, not somebody that played you know in the NFL or anything like that. The first true rookie to start a game since 1994 in the CFL. Um, that's for, you know I mean Winnipeg can still you know cover the can win the game possibly even cover the spread because Edmonton's four and twelve as a as a favorite of three and a half to nine and a half points but in in this case I just can't go with a rookie quarterback against a good Eskimos team so I think Winnipeg's the gets uh, actually I think Edmonton gets the call and I think also the under is the way to go now if you go to the website I also have the I have a uh, free picks on Friday for Toronto who are the defending great champions. Champions, yes, the Toronto Aragonauts against Saskatchewan. Go to the website. I got the free picks on those. You can check those out. So, hey, this is Doug Upstone for Vegas Pro Insiders Daily. I for sure will be back tomorrow. No doubt about it. We have a whole weekend of stuff. I might even have some CFL action for Saturday. I don't know at this time. We'll see what happens. Doug Upstone, Vegas Pro Insiders Daily. Check out the memberships. I'm out.